Want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished up reading The Cloud Roads by Martha Wells. This is book one in the books of Raksura. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was just right now. So I thought I was going to give this book a four out of five as I was reading it. But as I get to the end of this book, I'm just going to give it a three out of five, meaning that I am just so-so on this one. It's okay. Um, not great. Not horrible. Just in the middle. So that's three out of five for me. Now, this book is written by Martha Wells. I had never heard of the series before, but I certainly heard heard of Martha Wells because I've read a lot of Martha Wells books. I've read all of the Murderbot Diaries books. I think there's like six or seven of them. Uh, they're short books, though. They're like little novellas um, that are science fiction. And I didn't really know that she's written other books before, but I had a Patreon um, event where every month that everybody that's on my Patreon on a certain level tier can submit a book and I spin a big raffle wheel and whatever wins I'm committed to reviewing. And this one won. Um, and, and I was worried because Martha Wells, like I have a love-hate relationship with Martha Wells. I have really liked some of her books. I've quite disliked the others and they've just got kind of stale for me. Um, but I think that's in part because I'm just not a huge sci-fi guy. Um, I certainly like some sci-fi books. I've written two sci I've read two sci-fi books this year that I that I gave a five out of five. So maybe I'm liking it more. Uh, but in general, I like fantasy more. But th then to hear that she wrote a fantasy series that was intriguing. Um, and as I was reading this, I I, I rather liked this story as it was going along. Um, in general, the story here, um, and I'm going to try to poke around it so I don't spoil anything, even though I feel like there's not a ton of people reading this thing. Um, so I don't know if I'm really spoiling anything for people, but in general, it is about this, uh, this, this world that is very well crafted. The world is awesome. Um, where you have these, uh, these like groundlings, like think of them just as, like as humans, but then you have this main character who is, is not that. This main character can, transform into one but in re reality he's something else and he doesn't really know what he is but he can fly uh he's got these different sort of powers um and he's kind of like this different kind of beast um and this culture of these groundlings are terrified of these other types of like enemies that are like horrible beasts that this main character feels like he is not that, but he's kind of like a hybrid between the two. And so he very often will go from town to town living with different peoples until they kind of suspect that he's different from them. And then he'll leave and go somewhere else. He's like been abandoned um, as, a, as like a very young child. He, he's just trying to find his way. Um, and really this is like a coming to age story for this character as they try to learn acceptance um, and I, I don't really want to spoil the hook here about what happens, uh, but eventually he finds the truth about what he really is, and it is not at all what he thought, um, and he has to try to figure out how to fit in with this other group of people and learn their ways. And that's the, the, like the basic plot of this. And as this major, these major events were taking place in this first third of the book, um, I was very intrigued. I thought it was very well done. And again, I, I was like, this is a and a solid four out of five, which which is awesome and, and exceeded my expectations. And, you know, when, it, when he starts to meet these new characters, um, the characters felt rather well fleshed out, a little more a little more mysterious than I would like. It leans a little too heavy on that. But still, they're well written, um, especially the main character. I felt like a lot of compassion towards this character and really understanding who he is and the pains that he is going through and trying to find his place in the world. But then the book takes kind of like these weird twists and maybe, and I think this is where like a lot of people will say this is where they fell in love with the book, but it's where I kind of fell out of it. It's when the conflict really starts to happen between like the bad guys and the good guys. Um, and there's like some twists in there about, you know, are the good guys really good? Are the bad guys really bad? You know, you've read those stories a million times, but it just didn't feel like amazingly well done. But I kept reading through this book because I, I felt like the world was extremely well done. And I've always said that, you know, a, a book cannot carry itself on world building alone. I, I, books can carry themselves on other individual aspects alone. I mean, you have certain books that can carry themselves on plot. You have certain books that can carry themselves on just excellent writing quality. But you can't carry a book on a world. And I, for me, this is what that book did. 
but it was enough to make me finish it, but not enough to make me really like it. And not enough ultimately to make me feel like I really want to continue with the series. I kind of was dreading finishing out this book, not so much because I hated it. I didn't. It was okay. But because I was like, man, I know that I have other books in my list that I'm going to end up either really liking or loving. And I just kind of want to be done with this one and move on to something else. Um, so that's not the feeling I want to have with a series that, I'll, that I want to kind of keep going with. Um, you know, it, it did kind of feel like it was kind of more YA. Um, and I always say that like it's some really negative thing and I, I hate it. I don't want to be that person that's like judging on YA. I, I don't like YA. Uh, it's not for me. It is for other people and more credit to you. You know, whether you like YA, whether you like romance, whether you like history books, look, do your thing. Enjoy the books that you love. Find that niche and just go have fun reading. But it's not so fun for me. Um, I want my books to have a little more adult aspects to them. I want them to be a little darker. I want, that's what I like in my stories. Or just like this huge epic fantasy. Um, you know, Brandon Sanderson's books certainly aren't that super adult, super dark kind of story, but I love those too. Um, so there's a, a blend of different things that I like, um, but this one just didn't have it. So maybe it's for a lot of other people. I suspect it is. I mean, this book, I think, got pretty popular. Um, it got nominated for several big awards. It's got a lot of reviews, but then it kind of fell off, um, which is kind of a hallmark for not an amazing story. You oftentimes see these books that will get a ton of reviews, a ton of positive reviews, but then pretty quickly they kind of fall off. Um, I think that is what's happening to the, uh, the fifth season and whatever that series is called. Um, you know, I suspect that every year that goes along, less and less people are going to be into that one. And it's not going to have a lot of staying power. Whereas, you know, something like the Greenbone Saga, um, I think will get more popular over time. Um, but maybe I'm totally wrong on both accounts. I just kind of think that's what's going on. And I think that's what happened here with this one. Um, you know, people were into it, but it didn't have that staying power. And because it's not incredible. Uh, it's just okay. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. I know that my three out of five reviews are always like the most least watched. So if you're like the two people that got to this point, thank you for committing yourself to watching this review. And as always, happy reading to you. Thank you so much to my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant tier patrons, Anna, Ben, Brian, CJ, Donu, Darren, Jamie, Maria, Michael Sugarman, My Book Is Lit, Nev's Book Channel, Romeo Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, Ryan L, and Sky.